the goal of this video is to give you some visualization on the phenotype factor in the exercise one of programming assignment number two. So uh, what we are trying to find here is the phenotype given genotype Mendelian factor. Okay, before we get into details, one thing I want to mention is please, please make sure you watch this tutorial uh, on uh, Khan Academy. Um, that will explain you what a genotype is, phenotype is, and allele is. So please first watch this before you either do the assignment or watch my video. So once you watch this video, uh, hopefully all this, because these terms are used everywhere in the programming assignment. So once you watch this video, everything will become very simple and the URL is actually in the PDF document as well. So. So in this method, uh, they're, they're needing you to return this phenotype factor. So before we really dwell into this, let's explore what's the scope of this factor is, the variables, uh, random variables in this factor. So th th there is a text here that actually very nicely explains, but I thought it would be nice um, to actually show it uh, visually, which is why I actually created this video. So the random variables here are uh, phenotype random variable, um, and the genotype random variable. Phenotype random variable, let's say we call this as uh, number three or x3, and it can take on two possible values. One means trait is present in the offspring. Two means trait is not present in the offspring. And this random variable, uh, genotype random variable, let's call this as one or x1 the different assignments that it can take are one, meaning the genotype is capital A and capital A. Two means the genotype is capital A and lowercase a. Three means the genotype is lowercase a, lowercase a. This is just a convention that's followed and uh, so keep that in mind that uh, you have to stick to this convention. So what are you asked to produce? You're asked to produce a factor whose scope is this x3 and x1. So here is that factor. Obviously I did not fill in all the rows. So for different values of these, uh, for different assignments here, you have to compute the probability. So that's the goal. Now one most important thing to keep in mind. So let's go back here and look at these arguments. It's a, the, and let's see what this is dominant is. When is dominant value is one, that means trait is caused by this capital A. When is dominant is zero, that means the trait is caused by this lowercase. Yeah. So please make sure that in both cases, uh, the probabilities are properly returned from this factor. Now, one other uh, helpful thing here is they have provided you this sample genetic networks.m and uh, it's got uh, sample data and what the expected output is. Actually, if you <laughs> go through this, uh, you have um, you will really understand what you have to do in this uh, first exercise. In fact, I would say in almost all exercises, uh, like in the first assignment, I always used to play with this sample data that they gave and then I, it'll actually keep you going smoothly on the assignments. Good luck and thank you.